Hello, everyone, and welcome back in to our Wednesday edition of uh, the Fairbanks Evening News and News Center Final. And we're talking today on our, our Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to you. And as you can see, uh, we're looking at uh, cooler temperatures and the forecast. Before we go any further, we would be remiss if we didn't say happy birthday to the Marines who celebrated their 240th birthday yesterday. So coinciding today with Veterans Day, it's uh, kind of nice to see them together. Taking a look at our photograph for tonight, this one's sent in by Gary Kahlberg, an aurora in Fox, as you can see. Once again, beautiful colors on the horizon there, pinks and oranges and greens. And uh, as always, he sends us some great photographs. And if you have a photograph you want to share, by all means, send it to photos at ktvf11.com. And once again, a reminder, our Fab Photo Calendar is out. It's free all over town. Just go to our website, webcenter11.com, and look under Lifestyle, and you'll find all the different locations where you can get a, a free calendar. Our numbers look like this. Today's high 12 degrees after a low last night of 6 degrees below zero. The record high 38 in 1981. The record low 34 below in 1990. Sunrise and sunset about 6 hours and 44 minutes. That's a uh, loss of 6 minutes from yesterday. And on our satellite and radar you can see a little bit of energy down south of the Alaska Range. That's where it's going to stay as the flow has moved a little bit more to the northwest, which means the cooler air is moving in behind this system. That's where we're looking at temperatures dropping down pretty good, maybe 15 or 20 below by the end of the weekend. And as far as what's going on across the rest of the state, uh, over southeast Alaska, looking at rain falling around Juneau, also at Ketchikan. We have uh, partly cloudy skies at Anchorage, Kodiak, a little fog. Showers along the Aleutian chain at Coal Bay, nice and sunshine, or nice sunshine up and down the west coast. But cool temperatures, 22 at Bethel, 20 at, uh, at uh, Nome, and 12 degrees at Barrow, with Fort Yukon at 12 degrees. Well, look at this satellite picture. I wanted to show you how impressive this is. This area of low pressure here is really bringing uh, some very severe weather across much of the Midwest, moving across in the Chicago area, and a little reinforcement of cold air moving in behind this system will bring more snow into the Denver area, it looks like. You can see a lot of rain expected across the Pacific Northwest, and there's the strong jet stream helping to move that uh, energy across. But boy, that's a really powerful low pressure system. As far as what's going on stormy-wise, uh, damaging storms all along that frontal boundary. Behind it, uh, much cooler temperatures, so a real clash in the atmosphere, uh, helping to uh, develop those severe thunderstorms. And the new jet stream is out. And as you can see here, it's going to remain well to the north, which means warmer temperatures moving across a large portion of the country. And uh, to the north, northeast, uh, looks like snow showers around the Great Lakes with more rain over the Pacific Northwest. All right, time once again for our kids' weather. And tonight, we're going once again to Ladd Elementary School. Here's a young lady with a weather question. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Berry from Miss Minot's fourth grade class at Ladd Elementary. My weather question is, how do you know it, two days in advance what the weather is? Well, Elizabeth, uh, there's many items we use to, de develop, to d determine the weather. The computers, the satellite pictures, uh, weather observations, and of course my lucky quarter, which said heads that snows and tails it doesn't. But last night wasn't right because we got a lot of snow in the west side of town. But anyway, uh, we use quite a few uh, ideas to or, or technology to figure out what the weather's going to be. Mount McGinley Bank, again, thanks for uh, helping us out with our kids' weather. Tomorrow night, the teacher will be here with a unique and fascinating weather fact. Real quickly, looking at our forecast across the state tomorrow with the northern sections, flurries are likely for Barrow and Fort Yukon, cloudy skies for Nome. Here in the interior, we're looking at morning fog in the Fairbanks area, otherwise partly cloudy to cloudy skies across the uh, interior. Over the southeast Alaska, rain will return heavy at times around the Ketchikan area, temperatures in the mid-40s. To the southwest, it looks like snow showers for Cold Bay and Bethel, rain showers likely at Cold Bay. And uh, what do you say? And the south central sections, partly cloudy skies in Anchorage and Homer, cloudy skies for Valdez. And our forecast for the remainder of the night, as you can see here, looking at partly cloudy, much colder with some fog, likely 10 degrees below zero. Tomorrow's forecast, looking at 15 above, morning fog, then skies becoming partly cloudy. And again, the uh, five day outlook is calling for much colder temperatures, dropping down to the teens below zero all the way across the board, and maybe a with the cold temperatures and some moisture around, a chance of a little light snow at times. Daytime highs will once again be in the single digits to single digits below zero, even colder by next Tuesday. <laughs> 